my god, did San Diego Studios just put on a friggin' stream, dude. They're starting to bring out all the finest cards. They're starting to, you know, pump that stuff out. And they revealed 10 finest cards, or technically 11 finest cards. 10 of them were the fan-voted ones, and then one was one of the Lux. And, dude, some of these cards are looking gnarly, man. And another thing, everything that was revealed in this stream is live in the game today. It's one of those streams where they just end the stream and then push everything into the game. So anything you see right now, you can go ahead and get started on an MLB The Show right now as soon as you're done with this video. So I'm gonna go over all the cards first and then we'll talk about how you can actually get the cards. So let's just talk about each player individually right off the rip. Let's go. <laughs> oh Shout out God. to the art team. Jim, Atlanta, and Christina. They so they did not waste any time bringing out the fireworks. The first finest card that was revealed is a 96 overall Bo Bichette. And if Bo Bichette is getting a 96 and he is, you know, one of the first ones revealed, he's a fan voted one, you can just guess how good some of these finest are going to be. He's absolutely insane against lefties, 125, 104. Good against righties too with 94, 86. Good vision, pretty solid fielding, great speed. Bo Bichette's looking nasty. Kevin is going to be excited for this one. He takes it, that art, and then let's look at that intense. He always intense while I'm in Same position, same position, third base. Oh, so next up, we got the Marlins. Their fan voted card is going to be a 95 Brian Anderson. And you know, this may not be as exciting as somebody like Bo Bichette or somebody else. It's actually still a really good card. You know, power 84, 96, 93 contact against righties, 96 vision with 85 fielding and 85 arm strength or 87 arm strength at third base. This card can still be really good, especially for BR as like a second diamond round sort of thing. This is not a bad card. And once again, the Marlins were not that good. He was one of the better points of the Marlins season. If these are the types of cards we're getting, wow. Show <laughs> hey. Look at that. So no, not a pitcher this year, just a hitter, but oh boy, he hit. So for the Angels, really no surprise here, Shohei Otani, he was the fan voted card there. You know, Fletcher really didn't stand a chance. I would have preferred to have seen Fletcher, I think he would have been a fun card, but I'm totally happy with Otani. One thing to note is that Otani is, you know, just an outfielder, just like his other two cards in the game this year. There is no pitcher Otani in the game right now, so that's the best we got. But he's a right fielder, great hitting, 98 arm strength, another W for a card. Matthew Boyd, starting pitcher for the Tigers, had a pretty good year, man. He started off amazing April and May. 94 Matthew Boyd, he is going to be the fan voted Tigers player, a left handed starting pitcher with five different pitches. Actually, a pretty good uh, repertoire as far as what he's bringing to the table. And he's got 102 Ks per nine. Home runs per nine is really low, but you know, that doesn't really matter as much anymore as it used to. Good hits per nine, good Ks per nine, good walks per nine in control. He looks pretty good. I mean, similar to the Marlins, you know, these are, I guess, considered the more underwhelming cards, and they're still good. So, Matthew Boyd for the Tigers. Yes, there he is. Yastrzemski. The grandson. 94, 94 overall, Mike Yastrzemski. Mike Yastrzemski from the St. Louis Giants. The first thing that jumps out to you about this card is that contact versus lefties all the way up there at 119. But don't let that take anything away from what the power is bringing. 98-89 for a left-handed left fielder. That's great power, great contact, and he's got pretty good fielding. 82 fielding, 74 arm strength. You don't need the greatest arm in left field. And he's going to be able to move 73 speed. This is a very, very exciting card. I was happy to see that he actually got it. I'm pretty sure I voted for him. So Mike Yastrzemski, the grandson, his finest is a 94 overall. 46, Trey very Man, close. Trey Mancini, he's an inside edge monster, and now he's getting those uh, those boosts. So I think this one was actually the closest vote. Trey Mancini versus Jonathan VR. Trey Mancini beat him by like 2%, so it was right there. Poor John Means really didn't get any love. But I think everybody was going to vote for either one of those two guys, and I'm happy that Trey Mancini got it because Jonathan VR did get that diamond tops now. But now we've got the diamond Trey Mancini, the big time power, one 100 and 106 with 108 contact against righties. He's also got 91 vision, so that's going to be really nice. Unfortunately, the fielding is still going to be pretty low on this card, but he does have first base as a secondary. You can throw him there if needed. He had a uh, he had that monthly awards card back in April. Yep. 
when he started off really hot, Ooh. he kept hitting. He got 30 home runs on the year. Some of these cards are ridiculous, and I love it. 116-91 power for Daniel Vogelback, left-handed first baseman. That's the only place he can play on the field, but let's be real, you're probably not going to have a lot of success with him anywhere else. I mean, he is the power bat. He is the BR card out of this entire uh, set one. He's definitely the guy you're looking for. I mean, 125 discipline. He'll be able to hold up on check swings a lot. I don't really have much more to say about Vogelback. You kind of know what you're getting with him. The power is ridiculous. I love it. 62%. Ooh, look at that. Look at that car. <laughs> 98 overall. 98. Let's see that fielding. I'm just going to come out and say it. Hello, best third baseman in the game right here. Dude. This Matt Chapman is ridiculous, and I voted for Matt Olson. I didn't even vote for Chapman because I really like Matt Olson's swing, but either way, I'm regretting that now. Matt Chapman is ridiculous. 97, 109 power with 99 fielding and 94 arm strength. 99 reaction as well. Brooks Robinson is the 99 fielding guy, but he just misses some of the power. Matt Chapman brings that power to the table. I really don't care about the contact because he's also got 92 vision. This is the card I am most excited for out of this set. I cannot wait to use Matt Chapman. He may be the best third baseman in the game. I know Chipper just came out and stuff, but this defense with that power, I don't know, man. It's kind of like Josh Donaldson, but better. Mookie? Devers? <laughs> it's Rafael Devers. Devers. 98 overall. Devers. Devers. Rafael Devers. Thousands of votes. Mm -hmm. Going into another third baseman, Rafael Devers from the Boston Red Sox. He actually beat out Mookie Betts. Poor Brandon Workman only got like 3% of the vote, but he really didn't stand a chance. And Rafael Devers looks really good. Really good hitting. 110 vision with 100 power against righties. He's also got better fielding on this card than any of his other ones in the game. 77 fielding with 84 arm strength. That's going to help because he's been kind of a liability at third base on his other cards. Takes it. Look at that card art. Oh. Wasn't that one of the best moments of the year? Mm. <laughs> what game that, against? That was against San Francisco? That's the cover boy gets a card. A 97 overall, making this one better than his 2015 MVP card, which is kind of crazy. The fact that his 2019 season card is better than his 2015 MVP card, which was an amazing offensive season. That just shows you how much these cards are juiced, and I'm here for it, man. He's actually got the reverse splits. He's better against lefties. 117 power, and he's got 80 vision, 80 fielding, 89 arm strength, 76 speed. I actually voted for Aaron Nola in this category because I didn't feel like Harper would get better, but 97 Harper, here he is. And he's not going to be the only Philly to get a card. Uh, JT Real Muto is most likely going to be a lock for catcher. So those are the first 10 fan-voted finest cards. Remember, these aren't like the locks. So if you see somebody from your team, if you're a fan of one of the 10 teams and you feel like somebody else should have got it that wasn't in the vote, they may be a lock for a card, but we'll have to wait and see. Now let's talk about how to actually acquire these cards, and there is going to be one more reveal later in this video as well. We go to this wild card section, and you're going to see that finest set one set of moments. That awards you with a pack that guarantees a finest. Mm -hmm. You have a guaranteed chance at the base players. We'll take, take a look at who the base and players are. This isn't are. a choice pack, right? You can probably guess. This is not a choice okay. pack. Uh, let's take a look at those moments. You're going to be playing with these finest players. Five moments. Hardest moment is on All-Star. Five fin full games. Finish these five moments. You get your finest player. So a, lot of the finest pack. a lot of them are player locked moments. They'll go quick. Mm -hmm. um, That's right. And again, you're going to be guaranteed one of the finest players we just saw. Guaranteed. Lowest overall was what, a 93? 93. Mm -hmm. The highest was a 98. Just for five moments. That's so right. are the Oof. players in this pack sellable? They are. And you yes, can sell them. Yes. All right, so the second way, show shop. Let's take a look at the choice pack we've got in the, s in the show shop for finest set one. Look at that art. Look at that art. <laughs> it is shattering. This, this, really, this really shows the, the, the contrast between the signature and the finest and how they're going to be competing, you know? You've got the angelic over here. That's right. <laughs> You've got the villains and finest. Once again, shout out to Jen, Atlanta, and Christina on yeah. the card. Oh, this yeah. is the first pack that actually we have art exploding uh -huh. out of the borders yeah. of the card, yeah. which is amazing. It's awesome. So you mentioned, you kind of spoiled it a little mm -hmm. bit. We've got a rare tier and a base tier. In this choice pack, guaranteed one of the base players, and then you have a one in four chance at the rares. Mm -hmm. Let's buy a few of these. So let's take a look. Rare players, we've got Devers, Chapman, and Harper, as, Ooh, you, as you probably could have guessed. Incredible. 
And then Beau Bichette and on to the right are your bass players. So we revealed 10 finest players, but we mentioned the, the select group of finest, mm. right? So there is a collection for all the finest players that come out of these packs, and there are going to be four rewards in this collection. And we're revealing the first one you can get right, right now. Kirby Yates. Arguably the best closer he of the year. He should change his name to Saves because he <laughs> saved everything <laughs> for the Padres last year. Look at that walk per nine paired with the 125 K per nine, 125 clutch. He's got a splitter and he's got a slider. 99 overall. We've touched on this. It's really hard for a closer, a reliever, to get to 99 overall. Kirby Yates gets there. He's up there with the Jansons and the, and the Kimbrels and the, all those guys. Gagne. He's an amazing closer. Kirby yep. Yates, on that card art, at the very bottom of his card, you see Finest Select. This is how you're going to know which ones the devs chose mm -hmm. versus which ones the fan vote decided. Mm -hmm. So Yates, the very first select to be revealed. So where do you get them? As what we said, the collection, right? Yeah, and what do you, how many guys do you need to collect? Let's take a look. Let's go to that dev kit. Back to the dev kit. Go into that Honus Wagner Legends and Flashbacks collection. Right there at the top is going to be the finest. And once we go in there, you'll see that, y first of all, all the beautiful cards Get together. Get to see all the gorgeous beautiful. cards again. But just all collect seven of them. Collect seven. And remember, Luis was talking about that base and rare rounds. Seven are in the base round. Don't even need to collect the three rare to get to Yates. However, Luis also mentioned we're going to be adding more guys to this collection, so more rewards on the left. So even once you complete the seven for Yates here, next Friday when we put out set two, there will be a new collection reward. And if we're starting with a 99 Kirby Ooh. Yates, you know it's only going to get better from going here. Up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and so collect seven for Yates. You're going to collect some more for, uh, for three other rewards. Yeah. And, of course, there's 17 locks. So we're going to have finest players elsewhere in the mm -hmm. game for them or in this collection. And this is just basically set number one of the finest players. You can get a finest pack by playing moments. There are three packs in the show shop. Mm -hmm. And how else can you get them? They'll be in the market. And they'll be in the marketplace. That's right. So, right. so they're all sellable. That's right. So you'll find everyone but Kirby Yates in the community market as well as the show shop. And again, you'll get one of those uh, 10 guys revealed today in set one from that Grind 99 pack Grind 99 in pack. the wild card group of moments. And this content will all be live very, very shortly. Yes, exactly. So collect seven of the finest players. Get yourself Kirby Yates. And remember, there are going to be more finest players coming out as time goes. Next week, there's probably going to be 10 more fan voted cards coming out, as well as another guy to put in that collection, then another 10. And eventually, we'll get all the finest cards added. And at the end of it all, we'll probably get some really, really amazing finests. And I love the way they're doing it this year. I love the fact that these finests are like end game cards that rival signature your series rival other legends in the game i think this makes everything extremely fun and i really like the way they're rolling this out so let me know what you think down in the comments are you excited for finest the card art is ridiculous let me know if you like it hopefully you guys enjoyed this video drop a thumbs up if you did subscribe to the channel if you're new i'll see you guys in the next one peace